everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video will be all about youtubers in the philippines so i posted on my instagram stories as well as on my twitter account if ever you guys want me to talk about any youtuber in the philippines and what particular subject about them that you want me to react about so marami ako nakuha via instagram and also on twitter pero sa instagram muna tayo the first one we have is from it's ira marie what's your opinion about ayin bernice's morena the label merch i am so proud of ayin she's one of my dearest friends here on youtube and sobrang proud ako sa kanya kasi talagang tinataas niya ang bandera ng mga morena. And she just really empowers all the morenas out there and sobrang proud lang talaga ako sa kanya. I love Ayin. She's super duper beautiful. I love her skin color. I love how intelligent she is and I just really love yung mga taong may substance talaga and they use the platform to spread awareness about, syempre di ba yung mga iba kapag morena, tutuksuin ka, nog-nog, um, sunog, yung mga ganyan, di ba? Alam niyo naman ng mga kutsaan ng mga bata. Tama ba? Kutsaan. Pero ngayon, it's a different thing. We need more people like Ayin who empowers other people out there. Sabi naman ni Lovely Labs underscore, what is your opinion about Riza Kontawi? So, Riza is also one of my good friends here on YouTube and she is amazing. Her makeup skills are out of this world. I especially love her makeup tutorial, sobrang bongga ni Rai. You should watch her makeup tutorials kasi sobrang ganda talaga. She can transform into anyone and her skills are just really amazing. Wala akong masabi. Hands down talaga ako kay Rai. Sobrang galing niya. Riza is also a very people person. Sobrang galing niya makihalubilo sa kahit sinong tao, kahit sinong crowd. That is why Riza is sobrang bongga. As in. Sabi naman ni Catherine Maribao, 100316, ano ang opinion mo sa madalang or hindi pakikipag-collaborate ni Ate Anakai sa ibang YouTubers? Now, maybe this is entirely an assumption kasi hindi mo naman pwede agad sabihin na talagang ayaw niya makipag-collaborate sa mga tao. Kasi recently lang, we did a video for Maybelline, Anne Clothes, Anakai, and I, and that is considered a collaboration, di ba? So, I don't really see that Anna doesn't want to collaborate with anyone kasi hindi, and hindi mo rin man pwedeng pilitin yung mga tao na okay yung dalawa mag-collaborate kayo pag hindi. We're gonna assume na you hate each other. So, hindi naman ganun yung takbo ng YouTube life. And kanya-kanya tayo may mga preferences. Kanya-kanya tayo may choices sa buhay. So, depende sa tao yon kung kanina siya makikipag-collaborate or kung gusto niya or ayaw niya. Sabi ni Manny, I am Rachel Neri. What is your opinion on Anna Victorino being an active in YouTube? So, I saw Anna nung Bloggers United and there is an entire life outside of YouTube and hindi lang naman yung buong buhay mo is YouTube so that's what I want other people to understand that the YouTubers all of us, lahat kami may buhay outside of YouTube and hindi lahat yon nakikita nyo you can't really judge anyone, you know? kasi lahat tayo may sarili yung buhay outside of our channels Sabi naman ni Nieli, what is your opinion about Helen Payawal or Helen on Fleek? The way she dresses and her ugali. So I've been with Helen in a couple of events before and she's also one of my friends in the industry. And I just really love that she embodies or she empowers other plus size women out there to embrace their curves. So yun talaga ang una kong image kay Helen. So dun palang alam mo nang may good mission siya. Although Helen and I, yung friendship namin hindi sobrang lali. Pa. So, I, I'm afraid that's all that I can say about Helen. Sabi naman ni Pretty Abby, what can you say about sa pagpaparatoke ni Shek's diary? And are you also open sa pagpaparatoke? So, actually, I saw uh, Shek's video na nasa Korea na siya. Parang consultation na yung ginagawa niya. Hindi ko pa napanood yung buong video. Pero I think it is entirely up to her or actually up to you guys kung gusto niyo magparatoke. It's up to me then if I want to get um, surgery done. Again, masyadong conservative ang Pilipinas. Konting galaw mo lang dito. May sasabihin na yung mga tao. Kaya, ang hirap talaga, di ba, sa Pilipinas gumalaw. Pero, I think, pagpaparatoke, ikaw bahala. If you want bigger boobs, bigger butt, smaller tummy, taller nose, ikaw ang bahala kasi katawan mo yan. And whatever you decide to do, it's gonna be on you. Ikaw. Ikaw yun. Di ba? So, pwera na lang kung iisipin mo kung paano ka natanggapin ng madlang people. Pero, Again, life is too short to really think about what other people will say. So I think, follow your heart. Ikaw bahala. Sabi naman ni Christian Alimagno, What is your opinion about AC or Ate Charon? Yung pag-e-edit niya, yung editing skills niya. 
out of this world. As in, I wouldn't be surprised if a few years from now, si AC ay maging sobrang kilalang director or filmmaker or something like that. Kasi, if you haven't subscribed to him, my gosh, kailangan niya mag-subscribe kasi iba. Ibang klase siya. Ibang klase yung mga vlogs niya. Hindi siya yung tipong edit lang, ganun lang, girl. Iba. He tells a story puno ng emosyon, puno ng isa pa siyang YouTuber talaga na puno ng substance. Kaya sobrang gusto ko na nanonood ng mga vlogs ni AC. May one time nga sobrang naalig ako sa kanya. Pinapanood ko lang lahat. Lalo na kapag nag-travel siya sa Japan. Iba. Ibang klase. And again, may substance siya. And ibang klase yung editing skills niya. So go subscribe to him kasi girl. 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 Sobrang bongga. Sabi ni Mani Aldrin Martin 18, What is your opinion about Michelle D being bashed because people think she is being entitled when she tweets about the great thing? I don't know if you are aware of that. Okay, honestly speaking, hindi ko alam ko ano yung great thing. I would have to check na naman on Twitter ba to? Hindi ko, hindi ko alam yung issue na yun, so I cannot really give my opinion about that. Sabi ni Rina Alisa, or Rin, tama, Rina Alisa, what is your opinion about Willodia's love story? So we were all together in Malaysia for this award awards show. And dun talaga una nagka in love and I think si Will and si Alodia. I think dun yung starting point nila. And I just love them both as in sobrang bonga. I mean, I've been with Alodia sa mga pantin events namin and pantin um, sessions namin. And then Will naman, I've met him a couple of years ago and up to this day, he's just... He's an awesome guy. He's an awesome guy. Sobrang idol when it comes to being super duper passionate about what you do. Si Will yun. Yung pagiging passionate niya. Yung fire na nagbaburn inside of him for this passion of his. Ibang klase. And I really admire those kinds of people. Punta naman tayo sa Twitter. So, nagtarong na ako sa Twitter. And sabi dito ni Fena. Thoughts po kay Vavaeng Marangal. So I honestly haven't watched any of her videos yet. Pero I saw wifey post about her. Nagmeet sila sa isang event yata or something like that outside of work or during work. Anyway, um, hindi ko pa siya napapanood. Pero I'll go watch some of her videos and maybe I'll do a follow-up answer on that. Sabi naman ni Shirley, what is your opinion about Anakai's personality? So I've worked with Anakai a couple of times na. Kasama ko siya sa Pantene for this year. Nag-film kami for stress tabs and also mga different events then. Although ang friendship namin ni Ana kasi hindi din super duper deep. She's not one of my closest friends kasi on YouTube. Pero we are friends. And sobrang bilis yung katrabaho and sobrang fun din. Lalo na yung nag-film kami ng Maybelline. Tawa lang kami ng tawa. So that ends episode number one of Talking About YouTubers in the Philippines. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If ever you want to submit your questions just tweet me or dm me on instagram we'll do another episode next week thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next